Singapore has impressed many visitors with its lush greenery. With more than two million trees in this garden city, we sometimes miss seeing the forest for the trees. Trees improve air quality, reduce outdoor temperature, prevent soil erosion and much more. Most importantly, they absorb carbon dioxide or CO2, the chief greenhouse gas that causes global warming and climate change. In 2009, the world emitted more than 30 billion tons of carbon dioxide. Since it takes about five trees to absorb one ton of carbon dioxide each year, we would need 152 billion trees to keep our air clean. So we do need many trees to save Gaia. And one multinational company known for its outdoor gear is wearing this green message on its sleeve. And its logo says it all. Besides infusing green values throughout its supply chain, product range and stores, Timberland gives each staff 40 paid hours every year to take part in corporate social responsibility activities. One such activity is planting saplings under the National Park's Garden City Fund Plant a Tree program. Besides tree planting, Timberland staff have also done weeding, mangrove planting and trench digging at various parks in Singapore. They're so passionate about environmental issues that they've unabashedly called themselves Earth Keepers. Many of these zealous Earth Keepers have even ventured to Inner Mongolia to advance their green courses. Horchin Desert in Inner Mongolia spans over 42 square kilometers once known as a Hochin pasture for its fertile soil and flourishing grasslands, the area deteriorated into a dry and barren wasteland in just 30 years. Rapid population growth, over-cultivation of the land, overgrazing by livestock as well as climate change depleted its lush vegetation. Loose sands and soil are easily blown away by strong winds. Every year, from March to April, sandstorms originating from the Ho Chi Minh Desert deposit millions of tons of sand across Asia. Since 2001, Timberland has been working with GreenNet, a non-profit organization, to plant poplar and pine trees in the Ho Chi Minh Desert. Over the last 10 years, they have achieved their target of planting 1 million trees. From 2011, they began doubling their back-breaking efforts to plant 2 million more by 2020. Cheryl Cow has made three trips there and recall how she once benefited from the trees they have planted during an unexpected sandstorm. A very strong gust of wind blew towards us and we were actually pelted by sand. Um, you know, it was almost like walking through a mini sandstorm and even though it wasn't very, very painful, but it was very uncomfortable because, you know, you got into your shoes, got into your shirt, it got into your face and uh, and we were actually looking for a place to, to, to rest. So we made our way to a the Timberland Forest, one of the spots where we actually were had planted before. And uh, the moment we set foot, it's just a turn in, and suddenly everything was just at rest. You know, the, the, the wind that was howling at us just stopped and everything was just still. Celine Teo also feels gratified to be part of the movement that is transforming both the land and the community. The satisfaction part for me is really seeing the whole progress, um, you know, from day one to now. How much progress we have made. Um, small trees to big trees, the livelihoods of the people have changed, um, the communities getting involved, the local governments getting involved. Once barren, now thriving, the reforested land is giving farmers renewed hope for their livelihood. Once the, uh, the desert um, and the soil is um, kind of healthier, right, more fertile, they can actually plant other crops as well that supplements their income. They're already in the, the process and uh, they have already started to grow crops. Besides tending the landscape, Timberland's efforts have also inspired the locals. The Mongolians have begun taking control of their own environment by planting and caring for the trees. While turning the desert back into fertile grassland will take many decades, each tree that's planted brings them closer to this vision.